Welcome to Southwest Wyoming. You're watching Eastman's Hunting TV. I'm with Corky, my buddy again. We're hunting mule deer. This is gonna be awesome, so grab a deep seat. It begins with a legendary pioneer in wildlife filming. Wilderness, adventure, and fair chase trophies define him. A son adds to the legacy and becomes the voice for a generation of hunters. Today, a third generation pursues trophy big game in places where success comes from skill, determination, and grit. Now, 60 years of hunting tradition comes down to one defining moment. We're the Eastmans. We've been filming and hunting for over 60 years and three generations, and these are just a few of our adventures. This is Eastman's Hunting TV. It's big game hunting, and it's as real as it gets. On today's episode, we're gonna travel not so far to southwestern Wyoming on a trophy mule deer hunt with my little brother Ike. You know, we've had some rough winters in Wyoming, and it's been really hard on the deer, but I think there's a few big bucks yet to be had out there. Ike's gonna be hunting in the second week of October, which is normally a really tough time to hunt mule deer. The weather's been hot and dry, but we're hoping for the best. Oh, that's a nice buck. He's a three by three. He's really wide, but he's a three by three. Pretty young buck, hanging out with two other young bucks. One's a four by three, and one's a, a little four by three. So. We'll let them live for another day, but he's wide for a three by three. He's a wide, wide. So far, Ike and Corky have turned up a lot of younger bucks in the area, but they're looking for that one old moss horned warrior that somehow has managed to make it through the bad winters and the drought. Front forks aren't bad. I can't believe he's still standing there. That Roman nose on him, doesn't he? Yeah. That's a nice buck. How about that? Look at that. It's by himself. He's a great buck. Great buck. Especially for Wyoming this time of year. You know, with the, the winter that we had a few years ago and winter kill and all that stuff. We just couldn't see what he was didn't know what buck he was and he jumped up and ran and didn't give us an opportunity but we could find him again. Welcome back to Eastman's Hunting TV. The middle of October can be a very tough time of year to hunt mule deer bucks as the bucks become very nocturnal. Ike is hoping a mature buck has moved into this patch of buck brush. This is why I love hunting down here. Just buck after buck after buck after buck. Like a mule deer hunter's candy land. That's a really good buck. He's just crabby on his, on his left front. Um, at first we thought he had a little trash, but really what it is is he hasn't rubbed off his velvet yet. And it's kind of dangling on his back. But uh, he's a really nice buck. We've seen some really nice bucks this year and a ton of deer. She just picked his head up. He's almost perfectly symmetrical. Ike has decided to try to make a play on the wide buck. But after he and Corky get onto the hillside the bucks were feeding on, it looks like the brush is a lot thicker and harder to see into than it was from across the canyon.
The guys eventually turn up the smaller bucks, but the big buck is nowhere to be found. back to the sagebrush country of southern Wyoming. My brother Ike and his buddy Corky are looking for a big Wyoming buck they found earlier on in the hunt. Let's pick things up and see if the guys can manage to pull it out at the last minute and get the big buck on the ground before the season ends. Well, we're gonna walk over the end of this ridge. See if we can find that buck. He should be bedded down over there. We sat and sat and watched and watched and watched. We never see him. When you find yourself hunting mule deer during the middle of October, you have to be dedicated and persistent. Ike and Corky have been looking over this patch of brush in this drainage for two solid days now, waiting and hoping the big buck will make a mistake and show himself one final time before the end of the season. Just about when Ike thought it was all but over, Corky spots the big buck trying to escape through the brush right underneath them. Look at this old dude. Look at that. Look how heavy that buck is. He's a mossback. Look at all the, he's been raking and, oh. Look at this. He hasn't even rubbed off. Big old mass, good Lord, look how massive he is in web. He's just a, a bruiser of an old buck coming off the drought. Look at his big old Roman nose and gray face. So we took this great buck. This deer's an old buck. You can see his big old Roman nose. I mean, he's got webbing that won't stop. He's got all this stuff going on down here. He's got big old huge bases, got real nice main beams. He's just a great, great representation of a great buck in Wyoming. I'd like to thank Corky and his family, Wendell and Debbie. Thanks for watching today. And remember, fair chase is the only way to hunt and take trophy big game. We'll see you next week on Eastman's Hunting TV. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel right here for Eastman exclusive web content.